Hey. What is that? Hey guys, so I'm gonna be doing some makeup today. Oh, no, I have to. I honestly really can't stand filming intros. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, I'm gonna be doing some sort of an eye makeup look today. I don't really wear eyeshadow that often, so I'm not the greatest at it, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try. I actually attempted to film this video last week, but I didn't like the way it was turning out at all. So we're gonna try it again and hope that it comes out good this time. I'm going to be using the ColourPop Cloud 9 palette. I really love this palette. These are the shades. You get 12 of them. And it has four matte shades and eight shimmers. Yep. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to start the video now. First, I'm just going to put some concealer on my eyelids because without this, like eyeshadow doesn't take very well to my eyelids. I don't know why. Just gonna put some on and then blend it in with this little brush. I like to use this brush to put the concealer on my eyelid because if I just, apply it and like dab it in with my finger or something, it doesn't, like, if I put eyeshadow over top of it like that without spreading it out like this really good, then my eyeshadow will be very patchy. Okay, I brought the camera a bit closer, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing better. I apologize for the lighting, it's terrible. I need to get a ring light desperately. I'm trying to use the flashlight on my old phone, but it's not really helping that much. Okay, so I applied the concealer to my other eye, and now I'm gonna get a brush first. So now I'm just gonna put a little bit of this shade right here all over my lid just to like create a good base what I have so far. I think I'm going to take this shade right here. Sorry. I think I'm going to take this shade right here. It's kind of like a taupey shade. I'm going to apply that to the outer corner and my crease. because now it's all over my eyebrow. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, I think I got most of the shimmer out of my eyebrow. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye. Okay, so I put that shade on both my lids. It actually, when I put it on, it looks more gray than taupe, but still very pretty. Now I'm just gonna take this brush and try to blend it out a bit. Okay, so I think now I'm going to take a little bit of this darker shade here 
and just try to incorporate it in this area a little bit. I seriously cannot even see what I'm doing on my left eye at all. Like, this lighting is terrible. Now I'm gonna go back in with this clean brush and blend. routines and like makeup tutorials and you'd think I would know how to do eyeshadow by now. I like never wear it so I never practice. Right now I think I'm gonna take this shade again that I had initially put all over my eyelid. I'm gonna bring it back in. clean brush and blend it out again. I don't know how, but I feel like the left eye is coming out so much better than the right one, and this is the side I'm having a really hard time seeing. I don't know how that makes any sense, but um, I wanted to actually take some more of this and deepen the color up a bit because just a little bit uh, so we're gonna do that now I'm gonna do the same thing on the left eye why can't I figure out how to hold my brush all of a sudden <laughs> This shimmer right here it looks a little like kind of like a little champagne goldish you see you can see it better on my finger oh my gosh that's terrible okay you can't even see that all right so I'm just gonna put that right in here these brush instead. Okay, so I just added the shimmer over top. I don't really know how I feel about it. The, the shimmer itself is really pretty. Like, all the colors are super pretty, but I just don't know if I like it. I'm just gonna put a little more that first shade perfect day over top just to I don't know I feel like when I put the shimmer over it took away from that first shade and I really liked it so I don't know I don't know what I'm doing I'm just trying to bring some of that first shade back in so it doesn't just look like all gray. 
So I ended up taking the shimmer off as best as I could because I didn't care for the way it was looking. I'm not even gonna bother putting any shimmer there at all. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this little brush and try to put a little bit of shimmer in the inner corner there because I didn't like the way it was turning out. Um, yeah. So, I have glitter all around my eye now. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't know. I think I'm actually gonna go in with this one for the inner corner. It's called cloud watching. to clean up the sparkles around my eyes as best as I can and then I think I'm gonna be done with the eyes and then just do mascara and a little bit of blush and I think that'll be about it. I'll be right back. Okay. I think those sparkles will... I think those sparkles are gonna be with me forever now. So I'm just gonna quickly curl my lashes. I don't think it came out too bad. This eye definitely looks a lot better than this one. But I'm debating. I'm debating if I should just maybe pop a little bit of shimmer with a fluffy brush. Just a little bit. I think I'm gonna do it. I probably shouldn't, but I was look I'm looking at it and it looks kinda pretty. So we're gonna do that. I should probably leave it alone. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara. This is my favorite mascara ever. And I'm just gonna put mascara just a little bit on the like the tips of my lashes. I used to put it all over, but I seen Kaylee Boyle do this and I tried it and I like it so much better. right back. Okay. Cleaned up that little mess and I just did my mascara on this eye and after I apply mascara I always brush my lashes with a little spoolie. Just helps to separate them a bit and now I'm gonna do the other eye. I think the eyes are done. And now I'm just gonna brush my brows. I don't really do too much to them. I've been trying to let them grow in. And I think they're finally starting to look pretty good. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of blush, put on a little lip gloss, and I think that'll be pretty much it. So I use the Laura Mercier blush. Um, in the shade Chai. It is my favorite. I love this blush so much. Um, and I might add a brush. And I just put it across my nose. Just so I look a little sun-kissed. I'm gonna go dampen my beauty blender and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Now I'm going to blend out my blush for 10 hours. After I use the beauty blender, I always go in with my fingers because I feel like this really makes it look natural and, you know, gets rid of the lines. If that makes any sense. And then I will go back in with the beauty blender. I have freaking... 
freaking sparkles on my forehead. Oh my gosh. Okay, and now I'm done. I'm just gonna put on some lip oil. I like this Morphe 2 one. It's in the shade. Extra glaze, I guess. It's basically like a clear. It's just like, it has like the most subtle pinky tint to it. Oh my gosh. Smells really good too. Kinda smells like a pina colada. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think that's it. I'm gonna go try and find a good spot with decent lighting so you can actually see how the eyes came out. I'll be right back. Okay. This is the best lighting I can find. I hope it's okay. But this is how the eyes turned out. Okay guys, so this- why do I sound like that? Okay guys, anyway, <laughs> this is the finished makeup look. I think it came out nice. It's not my favorite look ever, but I do think it's pretty. It definitely came out better than I expected, so. Um, yeah, and this palette is really nice. I really love this palette. Show you the colors again. So pretty. I love ColourPop palettes. I have another one as well. The Blush Crush palette is really nice also. I guess that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, feel free to check out my other socials. Um, you can check out my sister's as well. And you should also check out my sister's YouTube channel. She does some cool stuff over there. Some ASMR videos, some makeup. Yeah. My sister and I, we also have a channel together. Now, we haven't posted anything on there yet, but we definitely plan on it. We've filmed a couple videos, but every time, like, something just goes wrong, so. But we will be posting on there soon, so be on the lookout for videos over there as well. Yeah, I guess that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!